Gotcha. Mosey wet pants in fear as a collusion with Meg laid bare. Erased all traces, but too late. With what we analysed in yesterday's video, it's clear that Megan is involved in the case of Mosey and Lady Hussey yesterday. In other words, we've proven Megan is the one who planted Mosey in the royalty event to blame Hussey. Everything seems to be going according to Megan's plan. She wants to destroy the monarchy while boosting a Hollywood status through a series of deals with Netflix. But unfortunately, currently the evidence that exposes Mosey and Meg's plan is being dug up by the public, ranging from tweets in support of Meghan to letters denouncing Meg's fraudulent charity in association with Mosey is in turn made public. Now she's erasing all traces, but luckily we were able to capture them. The victim of the charity break, Silence. This place is a con and uses charity money to fund holidays and personal expenses. They act as if they're helping victims, but work illegally and make matters worse. I'll be taking them to the cleaners and complaining to the charity commission. Now, there's very little to see as far as finances are concerned, and the income went from virtually nothing to 350k in four years. The sole paid employee of that charity is one Mosey Fulani, who receives 65,000 tax-free, and there was a further 180,000 paid out in expenses, which are not accounted for, and there are no records of where the rest of the money went to, and the accounts for three years have always been filed late, and the charity subsequently fined. Now, that's not a real name of course, it's a West African name, and yet the lady was born in the UK, to Gladstone and Mildred Headley, who were both Barbadian by birth. Her real name is Mary Headley. Apart from that little subterfuge, the charity wasn't formed in 2015, it was formed in 2018, and commenced fundraising in 2019. I can also find no details of a change of name for the lady either, so one can assume that she's either previously married a West African or adopted a West African name for effect and dresses as a West African for some reason whilst being Caribbean by nature of her parents and indeed British by birth. All very odd and also suspicious and perhaps the reason why she was so evasive when Lady Hussey attempted to engage with her. I'll never forget for my whole life how Mosey treated me and the way she made me feel. It's worse than any other professional or charity worker I've ever met. I was so shocked. I got attacked. Went into a refuge with her not helping me because I have privilege. Imagine that her claim to fame now is that she bullied a woman who'd served Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth for 60 years without incident. But a meeting with a woman in what I presume is some kind of Halloween costume as she says, she has no idea where she got the get up. This woman wasn't invited, she was brought as the guest of another charity that was invited. Either way, the royal family was kind of hosed. You can turn away the crazy lady with the questionable looking dreadlocks at the door, which you know would have been recorded and spun, or you can let her in and hope for the best. As planned, all plotted out with great detail based on current hesitations to question anyone looking different or ethnic. It worked. But Markle is not as smart as she thinks she is. She chose Headley as a henchwoman, a highly questionable person who has a bad reputation and a very suspect charity that will now obviously be investigated for fraud and embezzlement.